it's Hannah here and I wanted to talk to you today about dog sitting, money, and waiting on God. See, my son did some dogs, dog, dog sitting a couple weeks ago and he was watching a neighbor's dog for him and when the neighbor got back, my son knew he was eventually going to get paid, right? So it's so funny. Instead of his usual play areas, you know what he would go? He would go play right in front of our neighbor's house because he knew as soon as the neighbor saw him, he would be out there and give him money. And sure enough, it worked. He was hanging out, happened to be riding his bike right there in front of the house, and the neighbor came out and gave him the money for dog sitting. Why am I telling you this? Well, because I want to tell you about my son and dog sitting. No, 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 I actually have a point. Hang with me here. I want to tell you about waiting on God because that's how we have to wait on God. So many people, when they want to see something from God, they, when they want a prayer answered, when they're believing for a miracle, sometimes waiting on God, to them, it means that they're like, oh, this is taking so long. I don't know when my miracle is going to happen. I don't even know if it will. This is taking forever. I feel like it's never going to happen. Blah, 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 blah. Gripe, complain get discouraged. That is not how you wait on God. That, my friend, is how you push the manifestation of your prayer further and further away. You wait on God just like my son expected that money for dog sitting. You show up. You get in front of God. You get excited. See, there was no doubt in my son's mind that he was going to get paid. And there should be no doubt in your mind that you will see the reward that God has for you. So you keep believing it and you show up and you wait on God with joy. It says in Habakkuk 2, 3, for the vision is yet for an appointed time and it hastens to the end fulfillment. It will not deceive or disappointment. Oh, it will not deceive or disappoint. Though it tarry, wait earnestly for it because it will surely come. It will not be behindhand on its appointed day. So what is that saying? It's saying, look for it, wait for it, get excited about it, though it tarry. And that's where we are sometimes when we're waiting on God. We feel like it's taken so long. It said, though it tarry, wait earnestly for it. That means you wait with excitement. You believe it. You show up every day and you say, God, I'm so excited because I know you're going to come through. And I know that you are a faithful God. And it says further down here in verse 4, a righteous man shall live by his faith and by his faithfulness. What does that mean? You keep believing. You show up every day. Instead of waiting on God by griping and complaining, if my son had just stayed inside, I don't know if I'm ever going to get paid then yeah, it would have taken a lot longer and, and could have not happened at all. He could have forgotten about it. But you wait with expectation, with earnest excitement, live by your faith, show up every day while you're waiting. And remember it says, though it tarry, because sometimes it can seem like it's taken a long time, but God is never late. It said, it shall not be behind him. That means it's not gonna be late. Keep believing, show up and get excited. And hey, if you want to do some dog sitting on the side, go for it. Remember, keep going, keep growing, because God wants to bless you like crazy. There's a, there's a bee somewhere around here. <laughs> it better not sting me! No!